case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a sweeping ruling impacting the balance of power between the federal government and its citizens, the Supreme Court has granted an individual the right to challenge federal statutes directly. The individual in question, Carol Ann Bond, was accused of violating a federal law prohibiting the use or possession of harmful chemicals. When Bond was charged, she countered by asserting that the federal law was unconstitutional. She claimed that it was an overextension of Congress's powers, as laid out in the Constitution, thus infringing upon the Tenth Amendment's protection of state and individual rights. This case illustrates the ongoing struggle of delineating the power of the federal government and the rights of the states and the individual. The lower court, the Court of Appeals, initially decided Bond did not possess the standing to question the federal statute's validity. However, the Supreme Court reversed that decision. They asserted that not only Bond was affected by the law's enforcement, causing concrete harm, but also that this very enforcement crossed constitutional lines. In their decision, the Supreme Court noted that the federal system's duty is to protect the national government, states, and citizens' liberties. Broadened to encompass all individuals, not just Bond, the ruling now affirms that any individual can object to the violation of a constitutional principle when they experience concrete, particular, and redressable harm as a result. Despite the Supreme Court's confirmation of Bond's right to challenge this law, their judgment stopped short of commenting on the merit of her specific constitutional claim. They opted to remand the case back to the Court of Appeals to consider this aspect. They underscored that the verdict of the Supreme Court relates only to Bond's right to raise this kind of challenge, not the validity of her accusations against the federal law. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.